everybody, welcome back to the next episode of Infiltration. So, uh, I'm recording this back to back with the last episode and the first episode, so all three recorded together. So, if any comments that you posted in the past two episodes haven't been sort of fixed in this one, just keep that in mind. Uh, most likely, this will be the last episode I'll record today. Uh, so, I will adjust uh, things accordingly for episode four. All right, so. Um, yeah, so I've repaired everything. Uh, we were planning on to stay on the same planet here. Um, and at the end of the last episode, I said we were just fix the mechs and get ready for the next contract. However, Goofy and um, Helian got into an argument and he's taken an injury. Uh, so he's out for 20 days. So I am going to go to the hiring hall real quick. And we're going to just hire uh, Venara here real quick. Just so we have a pilot that we can use. Um, yes, Commander. Him? Probably. Well, maybe we'll take Epic for now. Just because we need a pilot that's going to be at least semi-competent. And then let's have a look at the barracks. God damn it, Goofy. All right, so Dallas, you got any points to spend? We do. Excellent. Um, let's take Fire and Maneuver. Confirm that. I think our three main pilots are going to be Fire and Maneuver. Uh, epic. We have more for gunnery, we do. Uh, a bit more piloting, I guess. Tactics. Let's go that route. Most likely we won't be keeping him in as a pilot, but you never know. Alright, Helion. Uh, bonus to initiative? I think so. Let's confirm that. And infiltrator. Nothing good enough yet. All right, so in the interim between episodes, I went ahead and did a couple things. Um, so we already had Mech Bay 2 and we had repair and refit uh, automation. So I went ahead and bought the lounge here. The lounge gives us plus two morale, plus one tech points, which is awesome. So I went and got ahead and got that. And we got the structure, uh, structural upgrade in, uh, working on right now because I don't like the fact that this thing's got holes in it all. <laughs> I hate to look at that. It's 15 days. It was only 88,000, so that's not so bad. All right, so we're getting that fixed up. But let's get down here, have a look at the contracts. Uh, and let's do um, the biological sample, I think. We want, the, we want greater salvage, I think, more than anything. So let's negotiate this sucker out. Uh, that'll be a, a sea build loss in the battle. And we can hope for good salvage here. So we're going to do that, I think. And we should be back, with the exception of Epic here, which we'll bring in, back to the way we were. Uh, we refitted our mechs last episode, so let's hope we get some better, better fighting this time. So let's deploy and get into combat. Command interface initiated. Enemy contact! Enemy contact! Alright, so... Two extraction points. Pick them up, get to the evac point. We know the drill. Only good local government official is a dead government official. Oh, sorry. Only good local government is a dead local government. Whatever. You know what I mean. What do we got here? Shadowhawk. Grinner. Locust 2C. Locust 2C. Oh, these are these are theirs. Oh, what? We drop right on top of them. A trooper. What the frig is this thing? Twenty tons. Two small lasers, machine gun, and a flamer. Hornet. Yeah, not so bad. It's this guy that we got to worry about. Oh, it's only got a light rifle. Two heavy flamers, though. And a cultivator. 640 armor, really. 320. 160. And that's it? There's three there? What do you have on you again? A whole lot of death. 20 and 50, eh? Mean debuff. Um... 
Wow, like nothing. Okay. What's your back armor like? 30, 50. Can I get behind you? That's the question. I cannot. Not even sprinting, I guess. Oh, what? Where'd you, what? Wait. Oh, yeah, with, like, no chance to hit. Oh, right, because these guys have, like, instant spawn protection. <gasps> right. Reserve. Let's let them go, man. We got three gym bobs standing in our midst. Would we just drop right on top of them? Is that what happened? I guess so. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine allies. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten allies. It's a bit ridiculous. Where are they going? I know you can't hit those guys, but really running away? They're running away. They're running away. Oh, yeah, they have 10 guys because they're they're stars. They got five guys. Derp. So, this is the secondary facility to rescue the operatives. That's to collect the cases. All right, we can do that. Okay, so that was the hornet that just went. Uh, Dallas. I'm receiving you. So I gotta remember what we got now. A large, three mediums, two smalls. Helian's got the three mediums, LRM five and fifteen. How's it going? And Epic is the same. So Dallas. That's pretty much gonna put an end right. to this guy if we hit. Ooh can't offensive push, but we can just fire. For an alpha Critical hit, Commander. He's not feeling it though good. Epic. I feel guilty about this, but that guy did like brace for his turn. So, you know. Sorry. Alpha strike. <laughs> See ya. Hope we can salvage that. Ah, he's just taking a bit of dirt nap. You know, I miss that guy, dirt nap. From uh, Covert Ops, my, my main guy. The name was awesome, I gotta say. And that just came up in the random gen too, that was so great. I was just trying to look for a name real quick. Ooh. Not much of a trooper, was he? Oof. Yeah. Yep. Okay, we're gonna turn these LRMs off. No point wasting ammo on this guy. 38% chance with the leg. Doesn't have much armor there, but let's just fire. Guess I'll give it to him then. There we go. Cut the leg. I didn't see if we hit the CT there, that big scrolling list of shiz that went by. Now did he... he doesn't have any chevrons left. Wait, no, he wanted to sprint, right? No, he's still... He's still under guard. Under first turn guarded protection stuff. Why is there smoke coming off him? I don't get it. Oh man. The grinner reminds me of Mockingbird. 
Well, let's hope Helion can uh, take over for Mockingbird. The fact that she gets the uh, discount on her uh, her uh, gunnery skill is awesome. I'm just going to keep cranking that up. I know I haven't done it yet, but I want to get everything to 6 first. And then we'll just crank her gunnery to 10. I like to try and have a well-balanced pilot. Doesn't matter what uh, mech they're piloting. Having them well balanced to start is a good idea, I think. Because if we sacrifice her like initiative and her health for her gunnery, then uh, you know one good shot to the cockpit or a couple of hits, and she's out for like long periods of time. Or dies. Like that's the thing is you only got three health, right? Got to get it to four to get four health. I think, is it 7 or 8 that gives it plus one more health? I can't remember. So I think their urban mech will go before us. Because he goes on 10 and so does Infiltrator, but I think the urban mech should go before us most likely because it'll be one of our allies that goes and then he'll go and then I'll go. Come on, shoot him. Maybe you can't. You might be behind the hill. Might be behind the hill. Yeah, so those circles around these uh, vehicles and mechs and stuff, hopefully they'll be gone by next episode. I'm sure somebody will point it out after the first episode airs how to get rid of them. Really appreciate if someone could. It's a little annoying. I think you can turn on, like, I vaguely remember seeing somewhere that you could turn on. Oh, there's a ferret. Oh! Warning. Armor low. Ow! I vaguely remember seeing somewhere that you could. That guy hasn't even gone yet. Okay, that ferret's gotta die. Can we get in on him? Got to ferret out the ferret. Um, yeah, let's go with everything. Well, we hit, but I have no idea what damage what damage we did. He's still alive. All right. Yeah, you guys know he's got to go too. Hey, he's five tons. How is he still alive with all those hits? Here he comes. Look at that. They just killed one of our vehicles. I'm under heavy fire. Oops. There we go. Oh man. How much do we damage did we take here? A fair bit on the mongoose. And a little bit in the Firefly. It's kind of a good thing we bumped up some of the armor. Where is... Okay, the Kit Fox over here. We need to get the shiz out of the flames. So I'm going to leave Helion and Infiltrator to take out the uh, Ferret. And we'll send Dallas and Epic off to deal with the... Uh, the turd bee. Hopefully we can pull that rifle off him. So he's got the rifle. I can't remember. He got the rifle and two smalls? Was that what, we, what he had? Pretty sure that's what it was. Was that a rifle and two missile launchers? I can't. Or it could have been two rocket launchers. I don't know. I can't remember. 
Oh man, really right clicking and it just okay. I'll get used to this interface. Don't worry guys. I'll get there. I'll get there. Receiving you. Epic, epic overheat. Do we want to get in close in this tier B? Let's get over here. Find out how much heat we have left by the time we get there. Probably not a lot. Good chance that oh man. This mech's pretty much heat efficient, eh? Ballistic two energy, yeah. Okay, good shooting. So the the uh, yellow ballistic. I wonder if he's got a. Um, whatever it is. Commander. That AC twenty weapon thingy, my bobber. My God, I can't even remember what it was called. Uh, we want to shoot him with this guy. Sixty and fifty-four. I think we do. We're not going to be able to get a side shot, but I think we want to get. A, I think we want to be on this guy. Let's shoot him with everything. Okay, light rifle crit. Shoulder destroyed. That'll make things tougher for him. We're going to get Dallas up there in a second anyway. Infiltrator should have no problem pulling down this uh, this ferret next turn. I hope. It's supposed to be five tons. Like, I don't understand why we hit it so many times. Barely did any damage. But I guess it was all splash, right? So probably splash across the uh, front and the sides, maybe the turret. Technically, I guess it'd have a turret, but I, I wouldn't have a turret, but maybe it's the rotor. Uh, I just had flashes of... Uh, oh, Twilight 2000. Yeah, we used to play a role-playing game called Twilight 2000. It was after um, conventional war between Russia and... Um, the uh, um, the allies, I guess, the uh, against NATO, and it was the game role playing game took place in Poland um, in the 2000s after this war had taken place, and you were basically just trying to survive. Like everything was destroyed. Like there was no nuclear fallout or anything. It was all conventional warfare, but um, it was just basically trying to survive. Uh, I, uh, the only reason why I was thinking of that is because. I was just thinking about the the uh, rotor, um, the uh, rotor armor, and how the armor worked in uh, Twilight 2000, what it was based on. Because um, it you, oh we got. What else do we have? Oh, it was the second target, wasn't there? Am I missing something now? Yeah, I think we get into here. Okay, we got something over here too. Cattle Master. Okay, not so bad. Okay, we're gonna target the bottom, and we're gonna fire everything. So, how much armor does this thing have? Nothing. So, I'm, I don't know how I didn't kill it last time. All weapons committed. That's unlucky. Died. Enemy unit destroyed. Yep. See ya. Wow. Okay, that gave me a. F All right, if you guys, I mean, I like World War II, right? I like the studying World War II, figure out what happened, you know, the weapons, the armor, everything. I lo love everything about it, right? Um, and I consider myself a little bit of a student of history, but I did a lot of studying when I was younger about World War II and stuff. There's a uh, YouTuber called, uh, or a YouTube channel called Mark Felton Productions. If you if you're interested in World War II, check it out. It's pretty darn awesome. But I remember he did a, uh, a video about, um, oh no, sorry, it wasn't him. Who am I thinking of then? It wasn't Mark Felton, it was, um, 
Oh, the Royal Tank Museum in England. They did a uh, a video on the uh, Churchill crocodile. It was called a crocodile, but um, it was like basically a flame throwing Churchill tank, and it carried a uh, it had a trailer behind it that carried all the fuel, but um, it it could shoot like really it's a mongoose. Okay, it could shoot really far distances. But um, death by flamethrower was one of the one of the most horrific things that could happen to you during World War II, right? Especially with a flamethrower tank. So anybody that was like in a flamethrower tank, all oh, right, this guy's got the two flamers. That's right. Um, they were they received no quarter, right? Uh, so what the flamethrower crews used to do, the tank crews used to do, um, is they would pull up to a bunker, right? And, you know, they would, uh, rather than just instantly, like, flaming the bunker, what they would do is they would pull up, point the flamethrower at the bunker so that the people in the bunker could see that, yeah, this guy's got a flamethrower and he's about to use it on us. And then rather than actually, um, their first volley, rather than actually shooting them with the, uh, the flames, they would just squirt the gas, like, the fuel on them, basically saying, look, if you don't surrender or you don't get out, we're burning you alive, right? Is pretty much what they were saying. Standing by. So it was like, you know, get out or die. And that, that was the, the one chance you got of getting away, which I thought was, you know, pretty um, pretty nice of them, but also it also kind of redeems the crews in such a way that, you know, hey, we're not just here to burn everybody alive. We're giving you your chance. And if you want to take, if you, <laughs> if you want to die, feel free. But, you know, after that first squirt, most of them just surrendered, right? Because you're covered in, like, you know, the the fuel's everywhere, right? It's in the air, it's everywhere. All it takes is someone to light up a cigarette and you're done, right? Another ferret. God damn it. Who are you shooting now? Shoot. Shoot at Clan Wolf, please. Please shoot at Clan Wolf. Please shoot at Clan Wolf. Please shoot at... Please shoot at Clan Wolf, please. Please, don't shoot at me. No, no, no. I don't like that. I'm too close to your mech. That's why. You can't shoot me. Right? You can't sh I'm too close to your mech. <laughs> it's, you know, it's sad, guys, when you're terrified of a five-ton helicopter. Maybe we get a couple of those archer systems out of this. Whatever it is. The archer tag or whatever it is. The Sorry, the arrow tag. That would be kind of nice. Stick those on the piranha. Give it some teeth. Use two of them. Uh-oh. I wonder, though. Like, if that mech was fast. The piranha's fast and has the two arrow systems that, let's say, it, they, it puts down flames on the target. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, not too bad. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait a minute. Uh, that may be incendiary ammo. Might be incendiary missile launchers rather than that tag arrow system. Oh, stop. You can put incendiary missiles and then get the two flamers from that... Uh, yeah, it's a possibility too. For the piranha, turn it into I mean it is you turn it into a flame mech. Okay, we want to kill this this uh ferret. Now, I have no idea if um he's got more than one I don't know if those are rocket launchers or missile launchers. That's a really bad chance to hit. That's a really good chance to hit. Eh. Eh. Let's go after the Crapple Master. Welcome to the fight, Junior. Okay, if you'll trade to war. Oof. Yeah. 
I want to just try and stay away from these other two mechs right now. Took a lot of damage to the rear armor. Let's leave the ER small off. We're still overheating. Streak 4. Streak 6. You know what? Let's just end our turn and get our heat down. Ooh, nice. Going down. Minus six initiative. Woo. Yeah, but if you're interested in World War II, Mark Felton Productions. YouTube channel. Most of his videos are really short, usually between three and five minutes. But the topics that they cover are stuff that you've, most of the time, you know nothing about. Like, just really interesting tidbits about World War II. I mean, some of it's standard, right? Um, different battles, but then a lot of them are uh, relatively unknown battles and unknown fights and things like that. Really, really interesting stuff. Ooh, flames. That shot hit internal. Let's do this. All right, finish him up, please. Please and please and please. Actually. Ooh. So that's his right... Oh my god, his right arm's almost gone. Right, that's the right arm? Yeah. See, I'm learning my directions better, guys. Uh, so we want to turn his left side... Left side? What is this thing? Scorpion, MRM. Let's not be anywhere near where that guy is. Let's do this. Copy that. Trying to get better with my uh, directional dyslexia. Can't guarantee it's going to, you know, happen or anything, but I'm trying. I still have to think about it pretty much every time <laughs> my direction. It's just terrible. Okay. It's certainly a different feel in the game now that uh, you've got allies on your team. I just wish you could check, click, you know, what kind of support you wanted. And you'll get more of a payout. Oh. You get more of a payout if uh, you have less allies with you. Hmm. Got some motherfucker over here trying to ping us. Huh. Well, let's, um, hmm. Could go after that turd bee. I think of the cattle master is a better choice though. We can get him out of the battle. I mean, he's not really doing much, but if we can pull him down, Wow, what happened to our chance to hit there? 80 something down to half? Okay. Oh, retractable blade, eh? Well, it's probably a good thing he d he's uh, lost that. Come on, bail out, buddy. Who's probably just recalculating his melee ability. So I think we will try and shoot down that ferret with infiltrator and then we'll move away. Dallas still has to go too. She can hit that turd bee. 
hopefully kill it get it off the battlefield then we got the mongoose I mean we should probably do what we did with the raven leave that last it is far enough away rather than firing and missing a lot trying to take it down we're better off firing at the guys we know we can kill first and then worry about that afterwards okay somebody didn't move I don't know who that was I think we want to shoot this ferret first because he's going on 15 so let's attack him really great chances to hit we're gonna fire everything I have no idea if we kill them or not sounds like it yeah man chalk up two for me and we'll move back nope uh, nope. Uh, yep. Okay, nice. All right, Dallas. I'm receiving you. Lilo Dallas multipass. All right, let's hammer this guy in the front, I guess only. Worst chance to hit from here, but we are protected from the other guys, so we're gonna move here. Uh, let's continue firing with what we have. Remember this small? Just barely, but we're going to unload with everything. Let's make sure we get him. I think we got him. Yep, there he goes. That's a kill. I think those flamers are probably still intact, though, so that's nice. He's got machine guns, I think, as a secondary weapon. He's not close enough to use them. We should be able to pull him down, no problem. That vehicle back there... Streaks probably do the job, and the mongoose will finish up last. I wonder if anybody, you know, I like I said, I haven't had a chance to really watch too much um, Rotec, but I wonder if anybody has done higher level missions with low level guys by suckering the the uh, bigger max into a fight and then retreating behind the uh, allies. I'm sure it's a viable option viable play style all right what do we got going on here round five let's see if we can take this to a maximum round six Well, let's go after this mongoose. Acknowledge. Well, not bad chance to hit though. We'll fire it all. Uh, shoot, I forgot about the arm. Acknowledge. Okay, a few hits. We're really gonna have to go after this guy then. I'll see if I can bring Dallas down in front of him. Okay, Locust moving into battle. Nice. I yeah, destroyed that retractable blade again. Nice. Come on, shoot the mongoose. Why put flamers on a helicopter? Yeah, you guys just sit back there. Don't worry about the battle. We got it covered. I'm here. Acknowledge. Firefly. Ooh, terrible chance to hit. Take these two out and fire the rest. Yeah. All right, let's burrow through the side armor of this Crapple Master. All right, here you go, buddy. See ya. Enemy mech destroyed. 
He's not destroyed, he's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Yep, Scorpion, please. Actually, maybe overheating, so maybe we'll just fire the LRMs at the other guy, the Mongoose. How are we doing here? Actually, we're not, not that bad. Not that bad at all. Uh, let's take this one off. Can we, no, we still can't do that. Alright, that's fire. Okay, one laser hit. Nice. Ooh, that's a lot of missile hits. Nice. Nice! Maybe they can finish it up. Ooh! Sweetness. See ya! Okay, epic. Commander. Epic, epic of epicness. All oh, right, he was the guy with like. I don't want to be that close. <coughs> Keep the left side turned. Let's get back over here. Firing. On it. Missing. All right, so let's move down. Back shot? Ah, man, I don't know. Do we want to go in the water? No, let's go right here. Let's give him somebody to shoot for. Hammer him. All weapons committed. Okay. It's a start. So am I missing something with this ECM? Do I can I activate my ECMs? Hmm. Which one of my guys has the ECM? I can't remember now. The Chicada. Oh, shooting chopper. He's got a fair bit of armor, this guy. Go in the water, get some heat um, sinking going, so we can use all our weapons on this guy. Wow, it's a lot of sinking. All right, let's do this. Nice, nice. There we go. Moving. Hey, how am I affected if I'm outside the circle? Damn it. Cheetah. Um, let's just go with the, well that's only 18 damage. Let's just do it this way. Fire now. Nice. Yeah. That's a kill command. There it is folks. All right. Let's grab our shiz and get the hell out of here. We gotta wait one more turn though. I think I can jump. Can I jump in there? Oh. Coming up short. Engaging jump jets. Makes me wish I didn't pull that one jump jet out. Okay, how far can you go? Not far enough. I guess we should be careful just in case there's another lance. But I doubt it. I doubt it. I'm receiving you. Actually jumping. Nope, not enough. Engage jump jet. Now can Helion run into this one over here? Not that it matters. I mean, we'll be done in two turns, but still. Hmm. Uh, uh, sprint. Oh yeah, nice. I copy. There's one. We have the secondary asset, Commander. Bring it home. 
Yeah, we'll have the primary asset in a second, too. Epic, epic of epicness. Huh, what did you step on? Hopefully not fuel tanks. Yes, Commander. All right, let's stick together just in case. I don't think they're going to have reinforcements, but you never know. You never know. Okay, Lilo Helium Multipass. Alright, that should be it, guys. We have the there it is, folks. Alright, contract payment increased by 30%. We made 8,000 8, sea bills. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, we did take a little bit of damage on the mongoose and the uh, Jenner, but we'll see what happens for for cost. I think it's just armor at this point. Okay, now uh, we don't have any of these mech parts, so I don't know mongoose probably. Let's see what else we got here. ER small laser diverse optics. Nah, a couple of heavy flamers, heavy rocket launchers. Four of them. Medium range missiles, 20 launcher. Minus one accuracy. Uh, AR-12 sheath beacon. That looks interesting. ECM field to everyone within range. 60 meter radius for ECM effects. Light blue circles. Reduces sensor checks by four. Interesting. UAV is a two curled. It's got a UAV. Interesting. I'm gonna grab that for now. Just put it there. Artemis three. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Heat sinks, double heat sinks, jump jets. That's a possibility. Range finder, 60 sight, one gunnery. SHS cooling. Um, okay, how much is that worth? Hundred thousand, eh? Heavy flamer AOE. Heavy flamer sticky, eh? LRM ammo, MRM ammo. Yeah, MRM improved ammo, plus two accuracy. Two of those. You know, that's a possibility. So if we do that, where's the MRM-20? How much does that weigh? Seven tons, not too bad. I mean, we could replace the LRM-15 and five with this and the MRM ammo. If we have, I don't think we have the weight though. Tag as well, man, really? I guess we, I don't know, such a hard choice. Early on, it's such a hard choice deciding what you wanna get. I think the tag is probably important. Any bonus to chance to hit early on is gonna be, a, is gonna be definitely needed. So I think, I mean, these are good too, right? Patchwork materials. All right, let's just go this route. 
Okay, Cattle Master, Hornet, Mongoose, and Urban Mech parts. Nice. We got the two MRMs. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we got some ammo. Uh, engine core, heat sinks. We got one of the patchworks. That's awesome. And we did get the MRM improved ammo. Oh my God. So we <laughs> we got it anyway. That's awesome. All right. Looks like Ghost Bear's taking some points from Tortuga. Oh, Ghost Bear's taking one. Davian took one. But <laughs> Tortuga's taking others. It doesn't really matter. Some good fighting going on, it looks like. 30,000 repairs. So it's not too bad at all. And there's no component damage. So that's good. All right. So we've got a few days to repair and refit. Goofy's out for 20 days. So I'm thinking at this point we're going to jump to the other system. Um... Let's have a look at the barracks. We'll look at the barracks later. Uh, I don't think we need to adjust our mechs at this point. We did. Oh, actually, you know what we do do? We do need to do. Uh, yeah, all four of them took damage. So what we'll do is um, on the flight over there, what I'll do is I'll figure out where we're going to put the Artemis system. I don't think we can put it in. Um, I don't think we can put it in the, um, the Jenner because I don't think it works with streaks, but we can put it in the Kit Fox for the... Uh, uh, LRM 15 and LRM 5 so that'll help out uh, although that I don't know if we have to remove the gunnery mod for that but we're gonna put the gunnery one one of the gunnery mods in the Jenner uh, and probably one in the Firefly or in the mo most likely the Firefly has more weapons so we'll do that I think yeah let's manage our tasks a bit better here if we can get it done quicker I guess it doesn't really matter we're gonna be traveling so ultimately you would want to try and do it the quickest way possible which would be this way so the Jenner will be done in four, this will be done in three, so this would have one day left, this would be gone, then the Firefly would go in for two days, right? One day would pass, this would be one day, then this one would go in the other base. So we'd be done in five days, right? That's the best way to do it. So we get them back in five days, we can make those minor upgrades on the trip over to the new planet. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to end the episode there. I'm sorry these missions are taking so long. Um, it's. I think we really need to sp get a speedy... Um, uh, way of getting our mechs uh, um, upgraded to mediums to make it a little bit more challenging I think I think once it happens once we get into mediums and there's a little bit more devastating mechs that we have to fight up against um, it'll be a little bit it'll be, it'll be a little better better I think all right so I'm gonna leave the episode there hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below and this will be the last episode I record for today so episodes one two and three were recorded all on the same day so episode four any comments on these three most likely will changes will appear in episode four uh, definitely after the first one I'm, I'm not sure when I'll start to record the next few episodes or not uh, but as soon as I do um, hopefully I can in in integrate some of those changes that you've mentioned in the comments um, and feel free to make some good comments or any kind of comment I don't really care just comment some stuff um, let me know what you think alright until next time we'll see you later